Ireland's for the sake of passengers and taxpayers. And I think that is the decision we all have to take. It is simply unacceptable to have three and a half billion pounds annually of inefficiency that is paid by people across this country who cannot afford that. We have to get a grip on that. We're going to do that by working together. And I very much hope that the unions will see the huge opportunity to work with us on this. Uh, there is massive investment going in. There is room for jobs and growth. We just need an industry that's financially sustainable so that that can take place. Thank you very much, Secretary of State. Uh, point of order, Karen McCarthy. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Yesterday, a number of people that were coming here to lobby their MPs about the Save the NHS rally were prohibited by House of Commons security from wearing T-shirts saying Save the NHS. They were told to put them on inside out. In one case, they're actually removed from someone's bag, um, presumably on the grounds that there's no place for politics in Parliament. <laughs> um, could, could, Madam could you, Madam Deputy Speaker, clarify the position on this? Because my understanding is certainly that Mr Speaker has in the past said that they should not be prohibited from wearing such T-shirts. And, and um, it's, it's you know, a, a, a sort of ridiculous curb on their free expression. Yeah. Uh, I'm grateful for the Honourable Lady's uh, point of order and I am aware that the Speaker has expressed a view with regard to the wearing of T-shirts and the types of slogans that might be on the T-shirts. If she will forgive me on this occasion, I think I need to consult with the Speaker um, to ensure that there is a clear uh, ruling given by the Speaker with regards uh, to the wearing of T-shirts uh, with slogans on them um, that will be of help both to members of the House, members of the public and security staff who seek to um, enforce uh, uh, these undertakings. So I hope she will bear with us for a little longer.